Welcome back to the classroom, I'm Mr. Wong. Today we'll be covering module three inquiry question one's exam problem. This is the 2008 independent paper uh, question 16. It is used for year 11. In this graph we have here, it represents a variation with time and displacement uh, as you can see here. So one of the particles uh, transverse waves of one particle as a transverse wave. The speed of the wave is shown below. So you can see this is the amount of displacement the particle has uh, with respect to time. Okay. Uh, question one says, state one instant of time where the particle would be moving at maximum speed. Now, maximum speed would actually be in one of these points near the node. So we know that where the node is, uh, we should have zero displacement but just around that position before, so this point here, this point here, or this point here, um, that's where we get maximum uh, speed. The reason being is because at this point here, we get the lowest amount of change in displacement, uh, but the change in time for all these components would be exactly the same. So uh, it would be this point here, so that would be about, 0.125 seconds. This point here would be about 0.275 seconds. And then this point here would be about, how much would that be? About 0.425 seconds. So any one of these three points would be where we find maximum uh, speed because we have the smallest displacement for the same amount of time that is passing. Next, we need to work out the wavelength of the wave. And what I'll do here is use a different color to demonstrate. So the period of time that's passed, let's actually work out how long has it taken for our wave to move. So we can go from crest to crest. This length here is equal to one wavelength. It goes like here, along, and then back up this way. So there's that. So this is like 0 .00, 0, 0 0.05. This point here is 0 0.35, which means that the time period is uh, 0. 35 subtracted by 0 0.05 to give you a time period of 0 0.3 milliseconds. Keep that in mind because if we want to find this in the appropriate wavelengths, we need to convert this into the appropriate units. Um, so we have frequency, which is the inverse of one period. So the inverse of one period is 0.3 three times 10 to the power of minus three. That is directly equal to 3,333.3 repeater seconds. You can substitute that into the wave formula. So velocity equals frequency times wavelength. The velocity of the wave is said to be 380. So 380, substitute that in. Frequency that's given to us 3,300, 3, oh, too many threes, but three repeater as you know, and then wavelength. Wavelength is therefore equal to 380 divided by our 3,300 repeater. And that gives you exactly 0 0.114 meters. Okay, so hopefully in this way you've understood how we can analyze wave motion diagrams and also applying the wave formula in these kind of questions. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like to support for more videos to come in the future. Anyhow, have a good day and take care.